it's your friend hot dog and today we're going to be making key lime pie for our ingredients we'll need sweet and condensed milk key lime juice don't come at me about not squeezing my own fresh citrus key limes are impossible to find and also super small and you get maybe like three grams worth of juice so i don't want to hear it key lime juice butter we're gonna need a bunch of yolks the zest of a couple of limes, a little salt, and then we're going to make our own fresh homemade graham cracker crust. Let's start by making our graham cracker crumbs to a bowl, add in all of your dry ingredients. Add all your dry ingredients together for a couple seconds just to get them combined, and then add in your cold butter. Since our dry ingredients and our butter are coarse like sand, let's add in our wet ingredients. All right, so here is our fresh homemade graham cracker. While our pie crusts are baking in the oven, let's make our filling. Start by adding all of your sweet and condensed milk to your bowl. Now, since we have all of our sweet and condensed milk in our bowl, we're gonna start adding in our egg yolks. Once you mix in your yolks to your condensed milk, add in your key lime juice. Mix together until all of your ingredients are homogenized. The last thing that I like to do is add in a pinch of cinnamon and a little bit of vanilla. These flavors work really, really nicely together. After baking our graham cracker for about 20 minutes at 350, here is our result. We're going to pulse it in the food processor until it's like a crumb, crummy texture. Here's our beautiful graham cracker crumb. Don't pay any attention to the quantity that I have. Uh, I'm making a lot for this weekend, so this is not as much as you need. I have my ground up graham cracker crust and I'm going to add in the rest of my dry ingredients which is flour, salt and sugar and give this a little bit of a mix. And then we're just going to mix in our melted butter. I like to use a spring form pan because it gives it that really nice, beautiful height. So I lined my nine inch spring form pan with some parchment and I'm going to weigh out individually how much graham cracker crust, graham cracker crust I need. That way everything is consistent and even. I'm going to press it down with this cool little thing. If you have like one of those hamburger presses, you can use that or a cup, anything with a flat surface, or you can just go in with your finger and kind of just smush it down. Now this is nice and leveled. I'm going to bake this for about eight to 10 minutes at 350. Our pie crust is all set. And now I just cut out strips of parchment to lay on the inside so when I pour my filling in and it goes up to the top after it's done baking the outside layer will be nice and smooth and there won't be any pull away from the inside of the springform pan. Now I'm just going to add in the filling and I'm weighing it out just for accuracy. So I have my weighed out custard and now I'm going to bake this at 275 until this is just set. Here's our key lime pie just out of the oven. 
You'll know it's ready when it hits about 145 degrees internal temp. Then I filled a piping bag and I'm using the tip number 849 to just pipe around the outside. Now I'm just gonna garnish with some lime zest and some graham cracker crumbs. Look at that texture. Oh my God. This is literally the perfect key lime pie. Thanks so much for watching and as always, stay crusty.